friends uh, and greetings from Iceland. It's midnight in Iceland now, but still very bright as you see. <laughs> very bright in Iceland at midnight. And we are driving, guess where? Uh, we are driving to the volcano in the middle of the night. <laughs> We are going to explore the volcano as it is, and you can see the smoke is coming from it. You see a lot of smoke, and it's all driven south, south from the volcano right now. That's why I'm not going to access it from the south now. I will access it from the east or the north. I will, I will see where it is possible to access it because officially right now the official trails from the south are closed so it's not so easy to access what can all these days <laughs> because it's really always closed now it was open only for 42 hours uh, when it started like soon after and then it had been closed since Thursday and uh, it's closed to public access but we will try to to make it there in the night and do some videos and this is how Iceland looks. We are passing by Selvogur. Midnight views from Iceland. Midnight sun. See, that's midnight sun in Iceland. Still bright, you see, you can travel <laughs> in the middle of the night. You can do hiking and traveling and driving through Iceland. It's kind of nice in the summer. But on the other hand, when it gets dark in winter time, you don't have already <laughs> you have the opposite you have more darkness than than brightness so it's pretty dark all the time in winter time in Iceland. have only four hours daylight in december so in a way we have the same amount of daylight and night through the year as anywhere else in the world but it's distributed differently uh, through the times of the year you know because we are very much north goes to polar cycle. In fact, polar cycle runs uh, through Iceland or through the island of Grimsey in the north. And it's um, far more dark there uh, and far more bright in the summer <laughs> and far more dark in the winter. And Grimsey and uh, closer to Akureyri. Passing by Strandarkirk, a famous church there where there was apparition of Jesus Christ or angel who saved the sailors who were drowning in the sea and then they made this church dedicated to uh, to the Savior. So it's kind of special a church for the fishermen in Iceland. Uh, I have videos from all that in my channel. Lupine is blossoming, those purple flowers you see, that is Alaskan lupine. That is blossoming uh, now in Iceland through June, July. It blossoms a lot of it, you know. Nutka lupine, from the name comes from the island of Nutka in British Columbia, because it's uh, native to British Columbia and Alaska, Alaskan coast. That's where it originates. They brought it to Iceland, and now it's really infested Iceland from all over, all over. They don't know what to do it, but it's good because it grows over the lava fields nice uh, anyway we keep driving and we'll keep you updated what is going on driving towards the volcano and we will see how can we access it hopefully it's possible 